Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Carrie from HappyMoneySaver.com and today I'm sharing one of my biggest money saving DIY recipes out there, homemade carpet cleaner. Come on, you guys know how expensive that rug doctor stuff is. You wanna like clean shampoo your carpets and then all of a sudden you get down to the store and you're like, holy cow, carpet cleaning stuff is like $25, $30 a bottle? It's too much, it's too much. I have the best recipe out there. It is, it works so good for pet odor, for pet urine, for dirt and stains, all that kind of stuff. And it's gonna save you so much money, okay? It's gonna save you so much money. So let me show you how to make this and then I will show you how to use it in your machine. Okay, it only takes four simple ingredients, most of which you can find right at the dollar stores. First ingredient is Tide. I've used the regular Tide for this recipe for as long as I've used it, but today they had this um, Simply Clean and Fresh brand Tide at the dollar store, so I just picked it up. It's gonna work just fine. We have OxyClean, or AKA the generic version at the dollar store. It works just as well. We have LA's totally awesome degreaser cleaner. This stuff is liquid gold in a bottle. I'm telling you guys what, secret ingredient for this is right in here too. And then lastly is some fabric softener. I like Downy, you can use a different brand if you like, but Downy is so nice and it keeps your carpets all nice and soft by the time you're done. So this is how you make the recipe. So step one, all you need to do is have a little mini bowl and a spoon, and then you're gonna measure your four ingredients and add them to the bowl. So once you've added all the ingredients to the small bowl, stir until they're all well combined. Just, you know, 15, 20 seconds, give it a good stir. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna add this to a gallon of hot water. And then you're gonna gently stir it Super, super gently until all the crystals from the OxyClean stuff are dissolved. So just be super gentle because you don't want to create bubbles at this point. Mmm, you guys, it smells so good. Like a load of fresh clothes. So once it's all dissolved, your mix is ready to go. You can start shampooing with this right now. This is the super concentrated mix though, okay? So let me be super clear about that. When you go to the store and you buy the carpet shampoo cleaner mixes, those are super concentrated. Well, that's what this is as well. And I know you only use a tiny bit of stuff, but a little of this stuff goes a long way. So all you need is a, to take a fourth of a cup out of here and add it to each batch that you're using in your carpet machines. And it works so good. I'm gonna show you. you. Ready to see it? Let's go see. Okay, so this rug has now been vacuumed, and I also remembered that I had an old nail polish, <laughs> nail polish uh, stain that I was hiding under the couch. So this carpet cleaning solution will not get out nail polish that's been sitting there for, you know, a year. Um, but there are plenty of stains on here that are gonna be gone, and lots of dirt marks. So 
Um, I just vacuumed it very well, and now I'm ready to move on to the shampooing. So I have used this homemade carpet cleaner on, you know, my Bissell machine. I've used it on my little tiny spot bot. I used to have a Hoover shampoo. I've used it on the rug doctors that I've rented. Works great with all the different machines that I've used. Um, but disclaimer, make sure and always test a conspicuous area of your carpet first, just to make sure we don't want anything to happen to your carpet that, you know, you want it clean, not like ruined. Um, so definitely always do a little test area before you do all your floors. And then number two is check your manufacturer's warranties on your machines and make sure you're not voiding any of the warranties by using a homemade, you know, carpet clean machine um, solution. So this is how you use the solution. You take your receptacle, whatever receptacle you have in your machine, some of them stay on the machine, some of them don't. This one comes off. So I'm gonna go and fill up almost to the water line, and then I'm gonna add a fourth of a cup of this solution. Let's go do it. If you need to pre-treat any of your stains, you can just, what I do is I just take some of the concentrate formula and I just come straight and just add it to the stain. You can use a spray bottle, but usually I don't have a spray bottle hanging around, so I just use a little bit of this and pour it in the area that I think could use a little extra love, you know, a little extra help. let those get started with soaking before I actually begin. So after you've filled it, uh, your machine to the, almost to the water line, you take a fourth of a cup of this homemade carpet cleaning solution and then add it into your machine. Then add your lid and shampoo as usual. Okay, it's time to shampoo. I will say if your carpets are really, really bad, you can um, add a little extra of that concentrate into your watery mix. Sometimes I'll use like a half a cup if it's real bad. Um, some people have even just used the straight concentrate, but then they'll have, you, you should probably rinse it with water afterwards. Typically, I don't rinse with water afterwards because it's so, um, it's, it's, it keeps that downy in there and it smells so great. So, and it keeps your floors nice and soft. <laughs> So as you can see, I only went through uh, a few passes with this cleaner and look how dirty that water is. Oh my goodness. Um, it's going to take several refills because I take it nice and slow and I go both directions on any carpets and rugs. done and look how beautiful this carpet looks Ooh, so excited I I got all the big stains out uh, besides this uh, obvious nail polish one but that ain't coming out with my solution you know what I'm saying but anyways I hope you enjoyed this recipe and if you want to get the recipe just click on the link in my description and it will take you to the recipe on my website happymoneysaver.com and uh, make sure and hit the like button on this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'm telling you what guys, I'm doing all kinds of thrifty stuff and you like saving money. So you're gonna like it around here. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye guys. I get a question quite often that says, can I use the Tide Pods that they have instead of this solution? And the answer is yes, you can. Just sub one pod for the amount in this recipe, which would be two tablespoons of this. So 
works like a champ. So I like to use a gallon container, an empty milk or water container, and just add it to this and keep it under my cupboard for whenever I need to, you know, do some carpet cleaning. And there you have it. Homemade carpet cleaning solution right there.